the city of lights or the city of indulgent bites? If you want to live the good life and not worry about breaking your diet, there's no better city to visit than Paris. Welcome to Mojo Travels, and in this video, we're going to lead you through a perfect day of eating in Paris, focusing on iconic delights that you just can't miss. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Paris is a vast and hugely multicultural city, meaning it's a glorious place to sample cuisines from around the world, particularly all the varied regions of Africa where France held colonial sway. For this particular list, however, we're going to be focusing on tried-and-true, timeless, old-school Parisian classics that you simply can't leave the city without sampling. Americans may be used to starting their morning with a large, well-rounded breakfast, but for the French, it's all about the carbs. No matter which neighborhood you're staying in, you'll inevitably find a charming boulangerie or pâtisserie around the corner where you can sample breads, pastries, and of course, the luscious butter delivery systems known as croissants, all unlike anything you'd find at home. If you want the absolute best of the best, though, we have some recommendations. Dupin et des idées in the 10th arrondissement may have become world-renowned, but that doesn't mean it isn't just as incredible as always. Whether you grab a chausson à la pomme fraîche, baked apple and sconced in puff pastry, a baguette or two, or of course their famed croissant, you'll start your day off right. Scattered around the city, you'll also find many branches of Maison Kayser, founded by baker and writer Eric Kayser, which are actually so good they've since spread to locations around the world. Of course, the bread and pastries you can get elsewhere still won't compare to the ones found in Paris. There's a reason Kayser's products have achieved worldwide fame. If you ask 10 Parisians where to find the best croissant in Paris, you'll probably get 10 different answers. We can't possibly claim to know where the single best croissant is made, because in reality, there isn't just one. But rounding out our selection is Blé Sucré in the 12th. The decadently buttery version found here will make you cry at the idea of ever having a non-Parisian croissant ever again. Dip it in your café if you want to do it like the French do. For lunch in Paris, one of the things every visitor must try at least once is experiencing the city's famed café culture. Parisians are known for sitting on outdoor bistro chairs and people watching. And trust us when we say that the people watching in Paris is some of the best and most fashionable in the world. If you want to stop in at the most iconic of Paris's cafés, there is no better choice than Café de Flore, one of the oldest Parisian cafés on the corner of Boulevard Saint-Germain and Rue Saint-Benoît. If you grab a seat, You'll be joining the ranks of historic patrons like Jean-Paul Sartre, Simone de Beauvoir, Albert Camus, and Pablo Picasso. Not bad company. They're famous for their croque-monsieur, and you cannot go wrong with a decadent sandwich like that. While we're on the topic of timeless institutions, it's hard to beat the Brasserie au pied de cochon. This establishment opened in Les Halles in 1947, and it has pretty much not closed since. We mean that literally. It's open 24-7, so you can stop in at any time of the day or night. Grab a French onion soup if you want a straight-up classic, or maybe try the bone marrow, foie gras, or the namesake pied de cochon farci façon périgourdine. Yup, pig feet are the bee's knees. If you're enjoying your day wandering the city's gorgeous streets and don't want to make a stop for lunch, consider doing as the Parisians do and just grabbing some baguette and fromage and stopping for a little picnic in a park or garden. In terms of finding the best baguette in Paris, the Grenier à Pain tops many lists, but any local spot will also do. For cheese, though, it's worth making the trip to Fromagerie Laurent Dubois, where they have cheese consultants to help you find exactly what you're looking for. If you find one you really love, you can even have it vacuum sealed to bring home. Because, hey, the stinkier the better, right? By mid-afternoon, you'll probably be ready for a sweet treat. And in Paris, there is no shortage of sugary options to fuel your cravings. The first option is the dainty and elegant macaron. While La Durée may have become world famous for their colorful delicacies, we're actually going to recommend a different spot while you're in Paris, only because La Durée is so readily available in Europe and North America these days. Pierre Hermé is a master chocolatier and pâtissier, and his Parisian boutiques are known for their macarons and chocolates alike. If you're looking for a colder treat perfect for a blistering summer day, don't miss a stop at Bertillon on Ile Saint-Louis. This ice cream parlor has been open since the 50s and is known for flavors like salted caramel and strawberry basil. If you're visiting during tourist high season, be prepared to wait because the lines can get very long on a hot day. Also, keep in mind they're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, and they close down at the end of the summer. We've had macarons, 
we've had ice cream. So what other indulgent French treat is left on the list? Ah, of course, an éclair, the cream submarine of our dreams. At l'éclair de génie, which has a couple of locations around the city, you can of course get the classic version of this dessert. But they also make a wide variety of unique and seasonal options to keep you coming back for more. For dinner, there are a myriad of options, but you'll definitely want to try a classic Parisian bistro. If you want to eat like one of the most famous Americans in Paris, you must stop at Chez Georges, which was famously one of Julia Child's favorites. The dish she loved is the Salmonière, which is absolutely what you should order if you want to commune with a culinary legend. The decor may be a little more shabby than chic, but it's all part of the charm. When a restaurant only serves one dish, you know it's gotta be good. Relais de l'Entrecote is famous for a quintessentially French meal. Shh, don't tell the Belgians. And they've perfected their steak frites so well that they feel no need to offer anything else on the menu, apart from their legendary green sauce. Come hungry, because they'll offer you seconds. Julia Child may have been a devotee of Chez Georges, but her most famous dish is undoubtedly her boeuf bourguignon. According to locals and international foodies, there's no better place to find this French classic than Chez du Monet, also known as Joséphine. This bistro is a little higher end, so be prepared to splurge. Anything you order off their short menu is sure to be outstanding, and you really cannot make a wrong choice. With only one day in Paris, there's only so much you can eat, so we know we've left off a ton of great places to say the least. Well, we'll just have to go back, and back, and back, and back. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.